Hey, Kiddos Chester here, welcome back to Resident Evil or Biohazard, whichever you prefer. When we left off last time, we kicked Alice in Chains' bum with acid shells. However, I have been told since by my good friend ECW James over at House of Rage that I did that wrong. That I was supposed to be pushing these weird stony things around and that somehow knocks her off of the uh, this pedestal, altar, whatever you want to call it, rather than me just shooting her off. Now okay, I'll accept that maybe that would have been the cleverer way to do it without using up my ammo, but hell, I still got the job done, right? But any, at any rate, I'm curious as to whether I still need to do this regardless, because I can see that the chains are attached to this thing here. And a message has been carved into the sarcophagus. When the curse of the chains has been broken, the path of the truth will appear. Yeah, I thought so. I'll have to push off all these chainy things. These chained ballast weights, I guess? I can't, I can't push it that way, but I best... Is there a... Is the Maybe the pedestal goes right up against that wall. Fair enough. I can't really tell from this angle. That chain looked like it should have taken me with it, the way it fell. <laughs> Let's have a look at what this statue is. These are the statues that Alice broke when she was around. So I do get the feeling then that maybe Alice isn't actually dead. I mean Barry had that suspicion and we have our own suspicions about Barry to, to begin with anyway. Apparently. Um, so I'm, I'm wondering where that's gonna go. I think we all are. So apparently, yeah Barry had his suspicions that Alice is in fact not dead. And I think maybe he's right. Seemed a bit easy. Seemed a little bit easy. Mm. What have I done here? Inside the coffin is a skeleton. Wait, that's something else. A family picture. It's the same family picture I keep finding. How many copies did they make of this one picture? Wow. It's a letter. To my Lisa. Alice in Chains, uh, real name in this game. Uh, day by day, I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me by men in white clothes made some of Mummy's itching go away. You know you can't just get Candice and Duo for that, right? Today they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they give me the shots, Mummy's can think... Wait, what? That isn't... Was that an apostrophe? Does that make sense? When they give me the shots, Mummy's can think straight, but Mummy's shocked and sad because mummy's unable to think of you all the time. I don't think that first one's right. Maybe it's a sign of her grammatical control slipping because she's changing. Maybe. Mummy's afraid, afraid of get forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and daddy. What your faces look like, how we used to be together, conveniently writing this on the back of a photograph then. Uh, they're all starting to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now. So that I can hold on to your, our wonderful memories of you and Daddy. Lisa, we can't stay here any longer. We have to escape. Listen to me, Lisa. I don't think you're really talking to this person right now. Yeah, this, this person's definitely... Now I'm starting to feel sorry for this person, just like I did with Alice in Chains before. Listen to me, Lisa. Our chance to escape is the next time when we go to that lab together. We'll both pretend that we are both unconscious, and when the man in white clothes is off guard, that will be our chance. But we're on the outside. Let's look for Daddy together. Okay, sweetie? Be strong, Lisa. November 13th, Jessica Trevor. Oh, wow. Okay. This Trevor family had it real bad, didn't they? It's terrible. Okay, like, you know, at first I was like, you guys are the monsters. You guys have caused all this. I'm fighting one or more of you, possibly, because I don't know if we killed George Trevor in that mirrored room or not, if that was really supposed to be him again. I don't know. But now I'm actually really starting to feel sorry for you, like you were just victims, unfortunately made into monsters, and that makes me sad. Oh well, let's uh... Wait, let's just go talk to Barry one more time, because he still stood there. And we trusted him enough to give him his gun, which he then didn't use, by the way. Thanks, Baz. 
Barry's got this place covered. Better just hurry on ahead. Why? Why do we keep splitting up? I don't trust... I gave him his gun back so he could help me fight. Didn't necessarily trust... Well, I mean, I do trust him because I know that Wesk is the real bad guy. Although, I'm unsure whether Barry's still going to be a bad guy as well or not. I'm not 100% on that. I don't think so. Um, mm, but I don't trust him enough just to leave him around here on his own. I don't think. Really. Let's be honest. Oh, by the way, I am carrying the wolf and eagle tokens, amulets, whatever they are, emblems, because, whoops, oops, I'm pretty sure they must be used down here, because I can't think of anywhere else. I mean, I was hinted at such by a friend, but I don't know for absolutely certain. Is this an elevator? It is! Okay, so maybe I'm wrong on the wolf and eagle emblem things. Was it Wolf and Eagle? Something like that. Eagle! Okay, where am I? Interesting. Oh, this is a space I've not been to before. I think. Okay. Um. What's this? Is this anything? Ah, is that a door? That's the big red door that was on the map a minute ago. I'm not going to... Why is it so fancy and... Hmm. Is that like the hive? We're going to end... Is that, that'll be the lab, won't it? Like the hive in the, in, the, in the first Resident Evil film. People have their criticisms about those films. I quite like them. I mean, they know, they know what they are. Nothing to be said about this fountain? No? Really? Oh, oh, oh! Take the impression there's an eagle shot. <laughs> okay, there you go. I was hinted at such by a friend. Not ECW James, a different friend. I do have more than one friend. <laughs> okay. I have no idea what this is going to do. Uh, and I'm now realising it might be something I don't really necessarily want it to do. I mean, I know I must need it to do it. But I might not want it to do it. Oh, cinematic is never a good sign. Have I just, like, released some sort of monstrosity? Uh... Oh, the opening's over on the other side. Okay. I'm just going to have a look at this door over here first. <laughs> This door seems, as 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 whatever it is, uh, it still seems less intimidating than the giant fountain I just emptied. The large iron door and it won't budge. Oh, great. I must come back out that way, I guess, maybe? I mean, why else would it be there? Do I really want to do this? Do I maybe want to take more weapons than just my three-shell three shotgun and my, even if I do have 129, 29, 119, sorry. Handgun bullets, I don't think that's going to be enough somehow. Oh boy, that's big spiral staircase in a well with a lift in the middle, however. That's never a good sign. It's never it's never a good thing. Oh, it's not as big a staircase as I thought. Only mildly better. Only mildly improved situation. Do I want more weapons to go down with me? I'm, mm, I'm not that far ahead of a previous save point. And uh, we'll hope, maybe, there's going to be a... Going to be a... I was just paranoid something was going to be on the other side of that door. Where the magic happens. Okay, laboratory, obviously. Magic is just science we don't understand yet. I forget who originally said that, but I know that it's been quoted in a lot of Marvel movies since the Avengers arc came about. Alright. What is this? Big thing? A huge elevator shaft. Well, that's what I've just come down from. There also what, there's also what appears to be some kind of water storage tank. That's what I was actually looking at. Uh, B1F. Basement first floor. Okay. Oh, pleasant. Um, 
Hmm. So there's nothing that way. Yeah. It's door. Big caution doors. Yeah, okay. I'll avoid them for now then. But also ladder. Which is more, I don't know, there's something about ladders in this game, but not just this game, in, in life in general. There's something about ladders, about not really being able to see where you're going. Having said that, doors aren't much better about that. You don't know what's on the other side of it until you open it. And often that can mean it's too late. But when you're going down a ladder, you can't really, unless you look, which takes you off balance and slows you down, you can't really tell what you're going down into. Oh crap, which one do I want to go through? I did not realise I was on caution as well, on my health. When did that happen? Probably ages ago and I just completely forgot. Well, let's just go with the ladder, I'm right here. It's just the ominous sounds as well. Well, yay, typewriter item box room. But what the hell is that sound? What is with the, the, the ambiance here? I do not like this ambiance. There's a big grey door over there. Why are you doing this? With this room? Why? Why this room being being like this? Do I want, I don't, do I want to go through that door? Let's go check the door that's up there first. Because <laughs> um, I don't like that music. That music is bad. That is bad music. That is, that is very, 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 very bad music. Let's try this door. Emergency exit will not open unless in first class emergency. Yeah, I just read that already. So I have to go through the creepy ambiance mute, uh, door. Fantastic. That's just brilliant. So it is. Well, there's no point faffing about, I suppose, is a... There's a kerosene tank. Is that suggesting that I want my lighter and uh, fuel canteen, maybe? Hi! Man in white clothes, how are you? Um, yeah, you fall down. You fall down and you die. Oh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> well, he kind of nearly got up again. There's another one. I should probably burn him if he's going to your crimsonify on me, isn't he? However, I do have three shotgun shells. I think I only take the one to die a crimson with shotgun shells. So maybe, maybe I'll risk it. Where's this guy? Where's this choker? Pick up the herb. Oh, hello, sir. I'm just realising I probably could get away with actually dodging some of these guys. Maybe. A bit late to do... to be, uh... concentrating on that now, though. Mayhaps. You should be falling down again already. I've probably... I don't know, maybe I did, maybe that was a bit of a waste. Maybe I should have tried harder in avoiding them. Or... Hell, even just... Not doing what I just did. <laughs> just on the face of it. Maybe I should have avoided them or done something differently, I don't know. Um, but what's done is done. That's all we can say. I'm going to use one of these. There we go, and I'll combine the other two. I gotta put away those ink ribbons when it was in the um item box room, but I didn't. Should have. Bit late now though. Another one of these. What are these gonna end up being? I'm obviously in the place where they want to be used. Part of the desk is covered in what some kind of acid. 
Well, don't touch it then. Although I'm sure acid would have been neutralized by this point in time. Right? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that's not ominous. Checking map. Um, I don't like it when they give me multiple options. It just makes me worried. Stop with the music, seriously. It's in me. P and me O. It's locked electronically. Grand. Okay, down it is. Let me just double check there wasn't another doorway around here. Around these parts, there was not. Okay. Um, this game has just stepped up so many levels. <laughs> like I wasn't already afraid of so many other things that had already happened. Well, there's somebody here. I don't know. There's two of them. I can hear two of them. I think. Ah, ha, ha, there's one of them. The other one's going to be right in fucking front of me, yeah, of course. <sighs> yeah, okay, fine, whatever. I'm going to avoid you guys for now. I'll deal with you later, maybe. Thank God there's only two of you, though, I guess. I don't know where... Ah, there we go. For a second then, I was already getting some major lag spike. Alright, where am I going? It's locked. The symbol resembling a power area is carved into the lock. Does that mean I need a power area to un unlock it? Or is that just some sort of symbol as to what's inside there? Shut up! Creepy ass mofos. Hang on, is this going to take me back to where I just came in? It is! Ha! <laughs> I can duke him! <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Good idea I didn't really try to attack these guys then. Didn't waste my bullets already. Hello. What is inside of you? You are a Well alright, fair enough. I've already got one of you. Can I combine you two again? To make an even stronger one? No, I didn't think so somehow. Well, I, I guess that would have been a bit much. That is a very, very nicely rendered room in a bad way. There is There are so many elements of just pure creepiness in this image right now. I may have just found our thumbnail. Creepy, creepy hospital app. Probably not going to be the video title. Something similar, maybe. It's locked. Great. I can never really tell what's a door and what's not a door. I'm going to admit. Apparently there was a door right... Oh, there was, of course there was. I already saw this one. Give it a try. Before I go to those big red flashing lights. Just in case I don't want to be anywhere near those big red flashing lights just yet. X-ray room? Well, that doesn't look right. Of course, I can't. Um. Wow. Okay. Can't carry any more of these items, however. Grand. Um. So kind of switch. No, not yet. I don't want to risk that. I'm going to need to go back to the item box to drop some stuff off, I think. And so far there's not been the drastic need for any stronger weapons, so that's... At least I've got that going for me. I guess. What are you? Levers for releasing the door locks. Now if you can just release the locks on the levers. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh-huh. I should have seen that one come in. Why did I bother? Alright. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I wonder if the MO discs are used in here. 
In which case, let's see if I can use the one I'm already carrying. And then I'll know what I need to bring back to this room. For sure. So let's have a look at the computers. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> There's a space to put an x-ray photograph. Oh, so I'm supposed to be picking these things up and putting them places. Oh, hello, does it? Go. Go. Something a way of leading elephants? Count a way of leading elephants. What? There's something scrolled on the notepad. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. Obviously a puzzle. I'm <laughs> not sure I get it. An x-ray photograph is posted on the wall. Alex Boucher. There's a name written at the top. Alex Boucher. Oh, those are... Okay. Ed Fisher. Alex Boucher is AB. This is the person there which would be CD. EF. GH, okay, that's easier than I thought it was going to be, fair enough. Okay, um, I'm just going to run back to the item box between episodes so that I can come back here and do what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, now realising that there's going to be crimsons in the way in that one room. Okay. Thanks for joining me, kiddies. I've been Jester, you've been awesome. <laughs> this has been Resident Evil or Biohazard, whichever you prefer. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you see. And you want to see more. And I will see you through the week. Uh, from that picture, though, I'm guessing it's some sort of mine. There's a mole. Oh, I just love this game even more now. There's a mole with a minus hat and it's got a candle on it instead of a light. <laughs> <laughs>